Okay, so right now we're going to learn how to turn on a drip campaign and also turn it off. These are for pre-written campaigns. In another lesson, we'll teach you how to set up the campaign, so watch for that video. So first, you're going to go into a particular lead. So we're just going to make it easy and go right to the most recent contacts I've had and click on that. So we're going to pull up Brad and turn on a campaign for him. Once we click on him, we're going to scroll down within his contact information and click on mailings. Now, if you have pre-set up your email, then that's another lesson, how to set up your email so that this will work, because basically the emails come out of the system scheduled, they go through your email, your personal email, they go out there. So that's what needs to get set up. If it has previously been set up, this will be highlighted in green. If it's not, it will be gray. If it's not green, this is not going to work. So make sure you watch for the video to show you how to set up your email. So in this case, we have options to add the person to a mailing list, a mailing campaign, or a ma send an individual mailing piece. So right now, we're going to actually send out a campaign. We're going to turn it on and schedule it to go. In this case, we're going to turn on the rental campaign. So we're going to click on that. And here you can see we have eight mailings that will be scheduled. So once I hit select, you'll be able to see all those mailings. They're in this order. If for some reason when you click on this, they're not in order zero up to 45, uh, you can go in and click on this and it will reset them in the order. So zero means today, one means tomorrow, seven means a week from today, 45, basically goes on and on for 45 days out currently for the rental campaigns. So I'm going to assign the campaign by clicking on this and it will pop up here as turned on. If I decide that I don't want to leave the campaign on for any reason, I simply will then click the X and it will turn it off. And it might get confirmation wanting me to confirm that I do want it off. Now, if I do turn the campaign on and I do want to see all the mail that's in that campaign, you can see them lined up here basically. Um, but really what you're going to want to do is to read the mail, you've got to go to a different location. Unfortunately, you cannot read the mail out of this location. So I just turned the campaign back on. In order for me to make sure that it goes out, I have to hit save before I leave this particular contact. So you're going to hit save. In order for me to read the, the mail to see exactly what it is, I go up to mailings and email. I go over to mailing piece library. And within here, I will see letters that were written for the global West USA agents and also ones that were written privately by myself for my own personal use which you have the ability to do and we'll teach you how to do that in another video but you can scroll down and see we have buyer campaigns we have rental campaigns and some other little miscellaneous campaigns you can take these campaigns and adjust them yourself you can go in and read the letters first to see what you think about them and if they're interesting or you want to use them, which I'd recommend you do, you can see uh, you can open them right up by clicking right on them and read them. If you want to adjust them, we can show you how to do that in another video. So if we cancel out of that, you can then go in and see all of the campaigns that are already pre-written for you. And I would recommend you use all of the ones from West USA. The other ones are for other departments within the company, and I, I would not rec recommend you use those because they do have some personal links, things that go to uh, other people. I don't think you want to use those. These are more general, have nothing in there that, that other than your information will show up in there. So you can get on there and click on them and see all of the emails that are lined up ready to go and you can see what day they're mailed on. This can be changed by you, and we'll talk about that in another video. In the meantime, that's pretty much it. Just showing you where to locate things, how to turn things on, and turn things off. Good luck. Hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.